What's up guys, got another one to show off to you. This is a revamp of my high D1, I'm sorry, D2 number one build. Um, <clears throat> this was build 320 back before I did these on YouTube. But um, ended up getting a watch back, which uh, was both surprising, but good for my buddy, Sean Cullen. So um, we redid the lasering on it because at the time that we did it, um, we did a vintage chopper dial and um, my revamped version of that old chopper. And he wanted to do one or two and two or two on it as if, you know, as if to say uh, the old version and the newer version. So it didn't have the one of five on here, even though the case back uh, with his name had said one of five on there. So we uh, recoded this case, redid it as actually one of five, did a new case back with uh, his last name on there and the one of five, and then just put the watch back together. So I'd already designed it, so it was already created this way. Uh, I did do a different crown on it. It had a common Dursky crown, and at that time I was not doing star crowns. But I'm the one that designed the dial, so... I went with a nice silver uh, crown with uh, matching your 12 here. And also, sometimes I do these just in silver um, when it flows well because you are working on these all the time. And although Cerakote is abrasion resistant over time, you can work on it a bit. So I figured instead of having a distressed looking crown over time, I'd just go with a silver crown on that. But um, so here's the watch build. I built this, um, let's see, I put it together, not last night, but uh, was it last night? It wasn't last night. It was technically two last nights ago, um, but I've come back in here and wanted a couple times and it's been keeping awesome time. So um, this is the Hein D2 which is a silver dial. I have, I think, two of these left, uh, number four and number five. Uh, did a black uh, dual loom uh, handset. Everything, obviously, is black, Cerakoted on here, black engineered band, uh, 100 case, shark tooth bezel, and this has a black with silver Scandi insert, so it's gonna show your uh, extensions of your minute markings all the way around. And exhibition, large window case back, stainless steel movement holder, and a black rotor in there. And then if you see in the uh, engraving there, we've got the etched in chopper. We've got last name and one of five, which it's almost impossible even uh, to see this in real life. There's the colon. I swear the one of five is on there, but I cannot see it. Oh, there you can. When you come from this angle, the one of five over here. Then you do the chopper on the clasp and the VW there. So matching chopper to the dial is put on the clasp. And that is the build as a whole. So um, with this uh, shark tooth, it is tight. You are not going to move it very easy, buddy. Which is good because I prefer it to stay kind of tight on there and not move around too much. Um, automatic mechanical, as are all of them. Uh, you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it up just a little bit. How you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking, and you feel the click. At that point, you can wind, and a wind is a turn away from you. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to just go back and forth with your winding on it. You cannot overwind it. You can wind it all day, and it's got a 31-hour power reserve on it. Whenever you're comfortable with how much you have wound it, you can pull it to the one and only click. At that point, you can then set your time. So uh, it does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. And also, you're going to notice you've got a wobble crown. That deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying on it, you are not putting any adverse pressure on the movement. That said, there are only two positions, and you notice there's not a time setting position, or I'm sorry, a uh, date window position. So how you have to deal with that, what is today? Okay, Google, what's today's date? It's Saturday, February 12th, 
the 12th. Man. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll advance it past midnight. So technically I had this set um, correctly because we're in the morning, but, or I'm sorry, I had this incorrectly set for a.m. versus p.m. because it's the morning and that was at night. So at 12 o'clock at night, obviously it's going to advance forward. How you do with these ones is you go back. And as you notice, around 9 o'clock it goes up in the air and it will drop back down. At that point, I go, I go ahead and go back to 8. You advance it forward. And it goes forward. So on 26, I go past that point because when that is kind of moving like that, you want to make sure it resets itself back down. If it does not, it will like jump off of the track. And then <clears throat> what I do with this is if you're ever doing this manner, and you know for a fact it did not advance a day. It might have made a might have made a noise. It might have whatever, but you noticed that it did not jump a day forward. Go ahead and advance it all 24 hours forward, and then go back to doing what you're doing. On two separate occasions, I've done this four-hour rollback again, and. It essentially jumped off the track and it just stayed on there it just never advanced forward and had to have that fixed I have no idea what causes that but see this is moving nicely forward so five six seven I think they said today was the eighth right okay Google what's today's date 12th. That's right. It's 9, 10, 11. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 9.57 a.m. Nine fifty-seven a.m. When you're good, push it over, get it out of that time setting, and wind it down. So now, Sean is at the proper time. So once again, fully black Cerakoted Hind D2 build, number one of five. Just revamp of uh, re-Cerakoted, re-engraved, new crown, new case back. But the design is the same as I did before, so technically it is a new build, new warranty, all new everything but it is a revamp of build 320r uh, or 320 320r would be the revamp of that so uh that is that build so uh as with every build it comes with matching beats and sean will wear them sean i do not have your build card but i happen to have a really cool laser etched metallic kind d card on hand and uh, that's going to go in your case so you have this um, and I will send you your your custom cards as soon as possible uh, it's going to come in a black hind the box and then as with every build, it's going to come with watch cleaner this is good on all glass and metal parts so this watch as a whole and then it's going to come with some fine scratch remover this is Novus 2 from Amazon that we repackage because you've got an acrylic glass and you can scratch it. If you do put a tiny bit of this on it, buff against the scratch, not with it, using your included microfiber. Don't go with the scratch, you will buff out the compound that you're adding, go against the scratch, and uh, generate some heat. And about 20 seconds later, it should be completely fixed. So uh, that is your build, dude. Thank you so much for, uh, as always, all the support, and um, appreciate you, man. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.